Okay, folks, I promised you I was going to bring you a, a gripple um, fencing project here. This is actually, we got the power shut off. This is actually the strainer and spring that Spurs got hurt on. It was actually flesh hanging on this spring. If you can see this here, there's some hair here on this one still. Um, this is what he got hung on, and I guess he just went back and forth. There was meat hanging on, on this one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let the tension off and we're gonna put a gripple in here instead of this big bulky ratchet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this end off Stick it in the ground. Got a piece of splice wire here. And I'm just gonna cut this assembly off. That's what got my horse hurt. And we're gonna be using some crimp sleeves. We're gonna be using two of them today. And show you guys how to splice with these. You could, we could do a figure eight knot, but this will be a little bit cleaner. And what I want to do past these crimps is I want to have enough on each end to twist and splice that. So I'm going to bring these relatively close together and we can twist all this after rust it up here a little bit crimp that one I'll crimp that one now we've got more than what we need. Open our gripple bag here. And it goes in the blue end, wherever your blue end is. Like so. Just like so. There again, I want enough on each side to tie this up to where I can make a nice little splice. My gripple tool goes on there against my gripple and then this mechanism here locks and then you just take it back off, slide your gripple tool back up and tighten again. Take your that's pretty tight. Um, it can go tighter. Um, th this one's set for about 200 250 pounds. So then I've got my two ends and what I want to do is I want to leave enough so that I can reattach my gripple tool, my gripple tightening tool. So what I want to do is I want to come out about so far and I'm going to grab my my pliers and grab my gripple tool grab my gripple here crank on this I'm going to take it hang on to it with my pliers I have to hang on to it here and I want to twist my 
high tensile around with about three of those make a handle somewhere about right here and then twist that off so this leaves me a piece here and if you notice how that broke it broke off smooth there's nothing there to, to hurt and it was kind of a struggle with our wire to do that this is 170 so it's a little it's a little easier I'm gonna go the same about the same distance here and I'm gonna grab both of these put me a handle on there and really pull down on that wire that's something else I learned in New Zealand you have to really be rough on this wire and you really don't need more than two or three come parallel with your wire there breaks off just fine and it's smooth that's a nice smooth transition there you can do the you can do the same thing I really didn't leave myself enough to crank it around but I can just gotta crank it around there broke that right off put me a handle on there so now I've got the the added benefit of my crimp sleeves and I'm twisting it and mostly I'm twisting it just so it's got a good and what you want to do is when you come back around you want to go parallel with your with your this stuff is hard to work with wire in New Zealand's a little bit easier to work with you want to get parallel with your with your wire with your fence wire and then just crank that off and not as good as them boys in New Zealand, but looks a lot better. If you see the difference in this, and the difference in this, it's a big difference. When you apply your gripple, um, you want to make sure that you put it in the place you want it. Because once you put it on there, it won't come off unless you have a little tool. This is just one of our... Our flag we will push it in and push those teeth up and then you can push it out but you have to push that in but then it, once again when you push it on there it won't come out there's little bitty teeth in there that grab onto that wire and they're rated for 880 pounds so they've got quite a bite on them and then what I do is I don't want to be short on the wire that I wrap so what I do is I feed it through at the same time trying to keep them both the same on each side so I'll feed one through feed the other side through 